Hello, beta testers. <laughs> In Grand Theft Auto 5, NPCs are more attractive than PC or playable characters. Does that make sense to you? I'll try to be succinct in visually expressing how audiences have been inundated by poorly written, unfunny, sanitized, objectively cringe nonsense for about a decade. Gaming has had extremely high profile recognitions and rejections from fans of The Message forcing its way into previously established games that had been turned into a platform for irrelevant agenda pushes that often are so preachy that they entirely compromise what's supposed to be entertainment. It's sad that I have to hope that Rockstar won't make women as ugly as whom I'm seeing the internet call Fantania. A clever play on the name Tanya for a recently revealed character in Mortal Kombat. Over the years, Mortal Kombat has become so pussified that attractive women and titties are offensive. As offensive as apparently uh, dwarves are to Hollywood. Blood and gore fine, but not boobs, you know? And in true Peter Dinklage pulling the ladder up after you fashion, Ed Boon, having established his empire on Jurassic Park, is now removing the dinosaurs to bend over for BlackRock's ESG demands. Routinely, Eastern developers do a marvelous job. Western developers can when they want to, but refuse to. And as I said, as it currently stands, in GTA 5, NPCs are more attractive than the playable character, which of course inspires one question, one word. Say it with me on four, one, two, three, why? Rockstar Games, the only answer you need from this whole video is yes. And it answers the question, would customizable jiggle physics make you more money? unequivocally, irrefutably, yes, waifus break the bank. The only representation you need to worry about are the types of content and people who top TikTok, Twitch, Instagram, the ones that hold people's attention through genuine visual appeal. Preaching won't keep GTA relevant, technical prowess in gameplay will get you pretty far, but allowing people to represent their dream iteration of themselves, their avatar, that'll keep them immersed in your world the way your bank accounts demand that they be. We know why these hoes are intentionally and bar loweringly ugly, and it's because people with money enough to lose trillions have made it clear that if you choose to fall in line and achieve high scores according to our doctrine, you'll qualify for money. Force behaviors. At BlackRock, we are forcing behaviors. You have to force behaviors. If you don't force behaviors, whether it's gender or race. Force. Broad shoulders, flat chest, huge jaw, saggy jowls, pushing 40. In Western games, the androgynous women will certainly appear less feminine than the men. That's BlackRock stand. Are you in good hands? If you don't achieve these levels of impact, it, your compensation could be impacted, okay? That's a nice little game you got there. Be a real shame if its compensation were to be impacted. Listen, Daddy Larry Fink will take care of all of this. All you got to do is choose what I'm laying out for you. Why your game will be as funded and popular as very young boys at one of my Black Rock parties. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. Grand Theft Auto 6 will not benefit from Laszlo moving forward and it has me wondering how much of its DNA it will retain. Sensitive games journalist Jason Schreier posted that Rockstar Games had effectively gone woke, which placed GTA firmly on Saints Row's path of going broke. Jason Schreier, themselves, with respect to their pronouns, 
takes big issue with how diverse studios are, a common trend among woke journalists who are currently losing their damn jobs to AI after years of rage baiting for clicks. I know it sounds insane to compare the wobbling wagon of a Saints Row reboot to developers like Rockstar Games, but I remember finding how cheap the Saints Row reboot's song selection was and how much that exposed the people working on the game for me. They didn't care. And I'm not worried in this specific way with Grand Theft Auto 6's music, but I'm hoping for as big of a tell as an indication of whether or not the year that Grand Theft Auto has needed to observe the pendulum shift, the sentiment change as it pertains to some of this cringe, woke identity politics bullshit, if they're still going to pursue this course, I want it out there. This isn't a preemptive wannabe boycott. I'm excited and hopeful for what's sure to be a leap in our medium as a showcase of where technology has come. This is why I'm making this video as an enthusiast, is to articulate my passionate hope that restrictions are not self-imposed. How robbed might we have been of art if Marge Simpsons of their time were allowed to throw figurative towels over everything that offended them. Spider-Man 2, Grand Theft Auto, Fires of Rubicon, and Death Stranding 2 hold a special place in the lineup of upcoming releases. They are games that I expect to push the medium forward in ways that we've probably only seen heavy lifting from Genshin and Fortnite with so far. Hollywood has been shooting holes in its own ship and gaming has pushed to the top of entertainment financially, the main way that matters. The mobile games take a big chunk of that, and just like the East, they are not afraid of waifus. Grand Theft Auto 2 is the second best-selling video game series of all time, but right now, GTA is standing before two very important doors. One is to make a video game for gamers and stay relevant to the people who made you. The other door is to quote, not back down in Saints Row fashion and, uh, you know, make a stealing and robbing and shooting game politically correct with mimosa, white wine spritzer, and waffle maker humor. Ha ha ha, let's get some nachos, am I right? You don't... We're always punching up. We want to be absurdist, we don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically, you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude! Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing that. Saints Row used to be a self-aware B-movie of video games, taking shots at everyone and anything. But now the socially inexperienced children that work at Volition are too scared to take any shots and will therefore miss all of them. Volition is too woke to make jokes, too woke to include anything other than exclusively ugly people in their cast. Cringe lines about how they're gonna afford a waffle maker during their brunch. If you want a $300 waffle maker, you're gonna help me get the waffle maker. Throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. What sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? The one that makes fucking waffles? Mm -hmm. hey! <laughs> Hey. Right before they walk outside and then steal a car? So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. I, you, do you think the car might net you enough if you were to sell it or scrap it uh, for a waffle maker? Or even rent money? I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas. Cringe. For God's sake, man. You don't have anybody working for you that doesn't suck? Please don't do that. Don't do it. GTA's roots is in... Can't even really go there. There are certain things that as a gamer I know to shut my mouth about because we wouldn't want a good thing to get taken away from us. But GTA's a fucking... It's a, it's a something simulator, if you know what I mean. My point is, you could fart an adults only rating onto that box and it would still be so popular people might use it as currency in certain parts of the world. I'll give you three GTA 6s for it, no more no less. Throw in a wireless, anatomically correct female controller and it's a deal. Uh, we're out of anatomically correct female controllers, but I'll give you two wired, anatomically incorrect trans controllers free of charge, no deal funnier than the trash woke media calls comedy.
my fear is that a minute radio segment from an older GTA game is going to be edgier than the entire new one. I hope, GTA 6, that you wake up to woke disgust. You haven't marked a release date. Games journalism, as it exists right now, will be vastly different from the landscape when GTA 6 releases. Examine games like Halo, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and see that these games were challenged by a player base who ultimately stopped engaging as their needs were not satisfied. Microsoft's FTC theater revealed just how much was wasted on an ugly Aloy that didn't make its money back initially. The aftermath of Call of Duty uh, retroactively fixing its old games has pushed seven Call of Duty titles to the top 10. Is it just nostalgia? Or were the old games providing something that people preferred? AI is here. Jiggle physics and genital customization is just how we do things around here. And if you don't want to be a part of that social club, Rockstar, then recognize your place as the version of your game that doesn't have these things because there will quickly become modded VR versions with jiggly, they'll, they'll, they'll copy and there's gonna be a Chinese GTA and you're gonna allow it to have something on your version? GTA, if you choose to go full Mortal Kombat and amputate the very portions of you that people loved, and support it to get you where you are, you'll have earned everything that you lose. You can't make a less interesting game than the Trumans that people have decided to watch online. You will not de-sex everything and present this censored, politically correct reality. You may not be worse than AI. You know a miracle happened with that woke Barbie movie that couldn't go a minute without mentioning the patriarchy? They understood to run damage control and keep how woke that movie was. Hush, hush. Shh. Slick marketing to slide it right up under Oppenheimer. It's like a double feature, you know what I mean? Here's the secret ingredient. A man to have and be the most fun part of your movie. You go, Gosling. Probably talking too much already, but I remember Battlefield 5 was trying so hard to push all of this identity garbage into a shooter game. Patrick Soderlund, a fucking politician out here, telling a really captivating story about a real scenario with his daughter or maybe his cat. And she said, she said, Daddy, no. <laughs> why can't I make a character that looks like me? because you're a girl. <laughs> like this video right now and be thankful that your parents weren't so dim-witted that they'd reinforce the notion that only characters that look like you are something you can engage with. Patrick Soderlin went on to talk about how I have a 13-year-old daughter. Dad, why is this happening? She looked at me and she couldn't understand. And I'm like, okay, as a parent, how the hell am I going to respond to this? And I said, you know what? You're right. This is not okay. These people who are uneducated, <laughs> they don't understand this is a plausible scenario. This is a game. Right. Quote, either accept it or don't buy the game, end quote. So as you can imagine, people didn't buy it. Brain dead paint huffers took the scoreboard out of Battlefield. Pride and accomplishment, huh? Halo didn't do Forge, it didn't do Split Screen, cause 343 sucks and look at where it got him. Call of Duty doesn't want to punish shooters in its aggressive SBMM shooter, so now the passion and tension of a rematch after shit talk in the lobby, it just doesn't exist. 1v1 could never exist in today's world because every lobby explodes immediately. Saints Row Reboot famously didn't want to punch down. And look where it got them. Politically correct gangbangers and hipster dweebs who live on Twitter and exist through their cats are not your audience here. Your audience of men wants a jiggly ass, not a stale, politically correct sermon. GTA should not be preaching. It should be jizzing in its hand and whipping it at somebody like in Silence of the Lambs. Don't Disney this up, Rockstar. 
The world is watching you. And I know I sound like a broken record on this channel, but <sighs> so many of my favorite entertainers were censored off of their platforms or, or you know, converted to education because people are out here, you know, being censored, being hidden because their eyeballs function and they're just not the audience that was cultivated for what you're trying to thrust at them now. I wouldn't turn into a makeup channel overnight and expect nobody to have a problem with that. Why do I have more sense than you do with the switcheroo, the rug pull that you're pulling on these people? You gonna go milk toast now? That makes sense. You're gonna put out an inferior version when you know somebody's just gonna mod it. Forgo fan service and bury your brand. It's sickening that furry abs, tight clothing, and bulges are fine for one gender, but the West routinely covers up women in its war on pretty. Thank you for watching this far. Sorry it got out of hand. And I'll catch you in the next one. Discord links in the description. And I love you. Bye.